I'm now going to show you a third way to import control coordinates into 12D. As you can see, we've got our trusty old Excel spreadsheet with our coordinate data that we've used. I'm going to close this down because I want to import this CSV file using the file.io data input and XYZ general. So if I go up to file.io, go to the data input because we're importing the data in the 12D, go down to XYZ and then use XYZ general. File to read, this is where we go and browse for our Excel spreadsheet file, our .csv file. So left click on the folder, come down to browse. And if I go to where my Excel spreadsheet is in the folder, left click up the top of my Windows path, copy, and then in the browse folder, do the same and paste this in and select enter on the keyboard. Now you'll notice that the .csv file is not there because 12D is default but looks a .dat file. So if I use the pull down menu and choose CSV files, and scroll down, there's our control file. Now I'll go to the basic tab, default line color is red. And if you remember last time we made our points red, so I'm gonna change the yellow to red also. Default textile, you need to select a default textile in here. And I don't wanna do a join all because these are points. So I untick join all. I now type in the model that I wish to enter this control data into, and I'm gonna add it to my current view one. I now move across to the right to the format tab. Input mode is delimiter, but the delimiter is a CSV file. So CSV normally stands for comma separated value. So I'm gonna select comma. Information type, if you left click and then right click in here, 12D will give you a whole bunch of options to enter the data in. And if we remember, our first row was the point ID, and this is column number one. Simply press enter once you type one in, and this will give us another row to add. And now we remember that the second row, if we right click and browse, was the X coordinate. So we're just assigning what value was in what row in our Excel or CSV file. Y coordinate was in column three, and our last one was our Z coordinate in column four. Also, if we step across to the right, if we had a map file, we could select our map file in here, which would map the correct stations to these points. We don't have a map file, so now I'm simply going to, I'm happy with everything I've entered, I'm gonna left click on read down the bottom left corner. If I now do a zoom all, there is our data. All our control stations are read in. The only thing that is left to do now is attach our station symbol to all these points. And to do that, we'll simply use strings, strings edit, change. Here, we'll leave everything the same and just change the new style. Go down the miscellaneous. And we'll choose the station symbol. Start and select. Now all our control points have the station symbol attached to them. We are now ready to import our survey data into this current 12D project.